Jerry Lawler, everybody. Come on. One more time for Jerry Lawler. This is great. Kind of glad he's in and out, but we're all nervous because he has like a history of like violence towards comedians, right? He Kyle Drill and Andy Kaufman. He smacked Jim Carrey. What you don't know is he moonsaulted Amy Schumer. Shit's weird up there, right? <laughs> All right, we're moving up. We're going to comedian next. You excited? This guy's a great writer, man. He's written for many television shows. He's had a half hour at Comedy Central. He's a walking free bird. He has like all. He represents like all three of them. He's got the hair of Michael P.S. Hayes, the torso of Bam Bam Terry Gordy, and the wild lifestyle of Buddy Roberts. Come on, keep it going for the great Dan St. Germain, baby! They're 
what you used to get your last three wives into your van. <laughs> Why so long? Did you finally sit down and watch one of your matches? <laughs> I can't wait to be alone in the detox tonight. <laughs> Jeff Jarrett going back to TNA was about as hopeful as Chris Brown renewing his rap vows with Rihanna. <laughs> you helped Vince McMahon up for money, which honestly, I don't know how that gives you a bad rap. Oh, I'm sorry, Vince. You couldn't put in a new jacuzzi in the shape of Trish Stratus' pussy? Why not instead of the XFL, you give these motherfuckers health insurance? How about that? Yeah. 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 These guys are fucking trying it out there. Oh, we better than the NFL. Not when Trump is impeached, you piece of shit. DDP yeah. also pussied out and didn't show. DDP is a motivational speaker. How's that work? Hey kids, if you can pull off a shitty RKO and dress like a night manager at a Margaritaville, you too can keep Jake Roberts sober for an hour and a half. <laughs> he, uh, he also appeared in Shark Tank, which is what Medusa calls her pussy. <laughs> supposed to be a badass, but he, but he looks like what would happen if Ricky Steamboat melted. <laughs> I'll, uh, I'll let Frodo know you want your ring back. <laughs> now on to the man of the hour, Bruce Pritchard, everybody! Jim Ross's eye. Oh. Here are the Jeff Bezos of selling triple X shirts to divorced truck drivers. And your face is redder than Missy Hyatt's clit after an ECW Christmas party. Oh my God. Anything else. <laughs> Jesus Christ, man, you made Vince Russo look like the fucking Cohen brothers. <laughs> Bruce, what did you actually come up with? You couldn't get a storyline on TV? Heck, you couldn't get a gun out of Nashville. <laughs> and then you sadly attended WrestleMania 25 as a fan. Hey, who's the guy crying into an HBK shirt? Oh, wait, that's just Marty Jannetty. <laughs> sucking Vince's dick. He didn't know what to do when he worked with Stephanie. It's not that she didn't have one, it's that she was using hers to fuck Triple H. <laughs> but, uh, Jesus. You know. Well, you know, in all seriousness, I didn't make fun of comics tonight because no one knows who the fuck we are, besides Pat Patterson, who took one of his dates to the Trolls movie. Uh, I've, uh, I've, been, I I've been obsessed with wrestling my whole life. You guys have given me so much. I mean, I'm serious with this. I love every one of you. I hope you don't kick my ass, but you guys have got me through my childhood. Bad times. I respect you more than I respected any comedian growing up. My son of God, Bruce and Conrad, you've got the best podcast in the world. Keep doing what you do. This was an honor for me. It was an honor for me. So thank you very much. <laughs>